UW360 is proudly supported by Pacific Office Automation, Copy, Print, Workflow, and IT, Problem Solved. BECU, a not-for-profit, member-owned credit union. When you talk Husky Volleyball, you might think of Coach Jim McLaughlin leading the dogs through the NCAA tournament every season. And now, the program is expanding from the hardwood to right here in the sand. The Huskies are one of eight Pac-12 schools to add sand volleyball as a sport, and they've practiced here on the beautiful beaches of Seattle's Golden Garden. I think Jim says it best when he says, you haven't lived a full volleyball life unless you spent time competing on the sand. Sand volleyball is a totally different beast from the indoor game. The rules are different, the sand is different, from court to court is even different, and it's strictly two-on-two -two competition. Oh, I like sand. I think it's super fun. It's very different. Uh, I think it'll help indoor. It's hard to move in sand, so if you get pretty good at moving in the sand, I feel like you'll be more agile on the court. The 2015 season kicks off next spring with 10 matches on the schedule, and the biggest rival, of course, will be Oregon, but the toughest competition will be USC and UCLA. And the Huskies, like other NCAA teams, will be allowed to sign six players to sand scholarships, but they cannot play indoor for their first two seasons, although indoor scholarship players can play both sports all four years. Technically, college sand is an emerging sport. We hope that in the year 2016, we'll make it to NCAA championship status. Girls can get feisty and sometimes you take things the wrong way. I figured out like how she talks and she's figured out how I talk, so now it's just we're doing really well. But it can be it can be a disaster sometimes. But with all the excitement, there is some setback with the players. We definitely find sand in our ear. Like we'll be showering after an indoor practice and we'll like, oh, there's sand in my ears and practice sand like three days ago. <laughs> Maybe not in my ears, but in my eyelashes and my hair sometimes it gets stuck. So but it's super fun and you get nice and dirty. It'll grow quickly. It's growing all over the nation and uh, the number of players playing, the quality of those players, uh, and that's gonna make its way into the college game pretty quickly. <laughs>